Happy Tuesday. I woke up this morning with two zits directly on top of each other. It looks like I had like a bar piercing. <laughs> Ugh. I'm about to have to go tag team Mike out with the kiddos for a little bit until they do quiet time. But once quiet time hits, I'm going to do Amazon fan faves where you guys, <laughs> my zip patch is a glowing, where you guys um, suggested your best favorite things on Amazon and I got some and I'll review them. Um, these are the best crackers, not Amazon, but I finished the box off last night. It was so good. So worth it. And they're gluten-free, so calories don't count. Paul's response to the dumbest things we fight about were hilarious. I wish you could see all of them. So funny and random and dumb. It's so funny. Mike and I since have made up about the clue instant. I still have feelings about it, but I'm moving on. Fan finds, here we go. If you're new here, um, every once in a while I ask you guys what is your absolute favorite Amazon purchase that you've uh, purchased recently. I buy a few and then I show the best ones and the coolest things. So we're gonna start with a pair of athletic shorts that I love. These shorts are so cute and flattering. I'm wearing extra small. Up top, they fit like a yoga pant, so it's very slimming and holds, holds tight to you. And then on the back, it has a little pocket for keys or a credit card or whatnot that's really cool. It's got the mesh lining underneath to where if you're like sitting cross-legged you don't see the underoos and then they kind of loosen up um at the bottom they fit really nicely uh these are an extra small i already ordered my second pair because they have different colors i wanted the olive green i already ordered the second pair in a small so i'm anxious to see how they fit different i think i would say they're 100 percent true to size these fit great but sometimes i like a baggier athletic short maybe because i'm not actually doing like rigid working out in them and i'm wearing them as loungewear The next one is a basic tea, and it is the best tea I have in my collection. I actually ordered it back two times ago whenever you guys gave suggestions, and I totally forgot to talk about it. I bought a second color because it's missing. I rode in the, um, the what are they called, ATVs in Mexico in that white tea. That was the tea, and I put it in the washing machine. I have no idea where it is. I don't know if it actually ended up in someone's closet or whatnot, but I bought a second color because I love it so much in the olive green. It's so soft. You guys are going to love it. It just hangs off you and you're going to feel it when you buy it and you're like, oh yeah, that's soft, but it gets softer. When you wash it, it loosens up even more and it is the softest tea. I, look at that bounce. I'm telling you guys, get one of every color. So good. Okay. I put this one on. I have not washed it yet, but even then you can see like how comfortable it looks, right? Just like clings and hangs. I shouldn't say clings. That's like a negative, but it gets like, I don't know. It's so flattering. I love it. Again, it's just super soft. This one is not a typical purchase for me. While I love fake plants, I'm not a huge fan of fake flowers because they just look so fake. Like even the silk ones do not look good. But I saw two people recommend this brand by name, which I know two doesn't sound like a lot, but I literally get thousands of suggestions. So whenever I see something that has two or more and it's the exact same, I order it because like what are the odds of two people saying the exact same thing on their number one item? So anyways, um, these are fake tulips. I think there are $22, 20, $21.99 and you get 28 pieces and they look so good. So, so good. I've got them actually sitting in another little vase to kind of keep them propped up, but they're just so white and to the touch, they feel so soft. Um, I don't want to say like exactly like real flowers, but they feel really nice. They don't feel plasticky. So I really like these. I have them sitting on my um, kitchen table right now. Aren't they so pretty? I thought that was a really good deal for only $21.99 for really good fake flowers. So this is a huge pass. While we're still in a flowery mood. I won't spend a lot of time on this one because it's pretty self-explanatory, but someone recommended this little um, watering can. I thought it was so pretty. It's so like aesthetically pleasing. I know a lot of you guys um, take your plants very serious and you're gardeners and I don't know why you're here because I stink at it and you probably make fun of me and laugh at me and that's fine, <laughs> but I feel like you guys would like this because 
it's just so pretty. I leave it out. This is for my Plantio, but I have it sitting in the hallway because I think it's really pretty. They have different colors and it's just cute. Next is a honey. Mike's Hot Honey. Have you guys heard of Mike's Hot Honey? It's infused with chilies. I put this on my steak the other night. So, so good. When I was in Bentonville, me and my girlfriends ate french fries at a place called The Hive, which is funny, Hive, Bees, um, and they had a appetizer with french fries in a honey chili sauce, and I did not think it was going to be good, and it was the bomb. So I would highly recommend dipping french fries in this. I think you can top it on anything. Chicken, so good. Well, we're still in a flowery mood. Okay, so I only have one more because I failed you guys today. I was going to review Amazon underwear, but they're not quite dry yet out of the dryer, and I don't really want to review something without seeing like how they did in the wash without washing it. So stand by. I'm going to be doing an Amazon underwear <laughs> review. I bought a few different brands based on reviews or what you guys have said in my DMs, and then I'll compare the ones. So on the graphic, you'll see underwear. They are soft, and I feel like I do approve. They have like 76,000 almost five-star reviews. So they're deemed good, but I guess before I talk about them, I want to be able to wear them and give you the full review. Anyways, last are these little face scrubbers, little silicone pads, wipe your face off with them, exfoliate. They've got, this is a really soft side and then they have a harder side to scrub harder on that. I think the two pack is like $2.99. A lot of you guys said silicone face scrubbers and it's the first time I tried it and it feels really nice. I think it's a great alternative for like an electronic face scrubber if you don't want to spend that much for this week's Amazon finds. I try to keep it to like five or six items only, which I know it doesn't seem like a lot to review, but since I'm pretty long-winded, it's like, if I did like 10 to 15 slides, we'd be on here for like two hours. I say weekly, but I have yet to do it weekly because I'm just not on top of it. But honestly, I was sitting here thinking about it. Is that something you'd like to watch? If you watch stories every day, would you like to see this regularly once a week? I'm not committing, but I am curious.